The marching band is the largest and most visible student organization on campus, consisting of 180 members. We play at the football games and at various activities on campus and off campus, and we pretty much embody the spirit of DC. So for an incoming freshman, joining the marching band is a great experience because you not only get to you know, meet 180 people before you even start school, but you also have um, kind of this network. I still remember as a freshman, I was able to get to know a lot of juniors and seniors, which was just incredible. I would have never have gotten to know them otherwise. And you know, they, they introduce you to their friends as well. So it's kind of like um, you know one person, and from there it kind of extends out, and you're getting to know more and more people. And, Next thing you know, you're not a terrified freshman anymore and you actually have a, a solid group of friends on campus. So I was in marching band in high school and then when I decided to go to Emerson, we didn't have a music program and I found out through another partner school member that BC allowed um, students from other schools to join the band and since I had loved marching band in high school, I um, decided to kind of go out on a limb and I showed up at band camp and um, just fell in love with it and uh, decided to stay. BC marching band, band camp. It's a week and a half uh, before school we all go to BC's campus. Um, we take that time learning how to march, learning the new music for our show and going through um, the, all of the stance music that we learn. About 50% of our incoming freshmen have never marched before, so there's a lot of time kind of refining the basics as well as learning the big picture stuff. It cuts down a lot on the time that we spend during the school year, which is when it's more important to be focusing obviously on academics. After all of the rehearsals over, we spend time doing social activities, so um, games, ice cream, movies, stuff like that. Uh, it's a lot of fun, you get to know people, and during those breaks you have a great time. You can play football, you can just chat with some people, relax. Uh, by the end of it, you're into your first game day experience, which once you get there, once you're in uniform, and once you see those tens of thousands of people in the stands just cheering on the football team, enjoying the music, it's just a, such an amazing experience because you're really seeing your hard work finally uh, you know, coming to fruition. It's just, I can't describe it. You're going to have to really experience it for yourself. So I had never played saxophone before. I played clarinet in high school, and so I signed up for alto saxophone, and the instructors helped me learn the new fingerings, learn how to play the new music, and while it felt difficult at the beginning for a couple days, learning the new music and trying to get the fingerings down, it started to become more fluid and uh, more natural, and by the end of band camp, after just 10 days of a new instrument, I already felt comfortable playing it and felt ready to march and perform at the, at the games. Above the student leaders, above the student members, there are um, full-time staff members who attend to the band. Um, every section has a um, staff member leading it. There's tons of people who are totally invested in the band and making us the best that we can be. We don't you know, keep it solely in a game day experience. We, we go beyond that. We do things on campus. We do things outside of campus. So with the BCMB, I've gotten to um, travel to Montreal. I also got to march in the inaugural parade, um, which was just incredible and so overwhelming and amazing. Our football team's doing really well in the last uh, few years, so we've, we've been going to bowl games. My freshman year, the band also performed with the Dropkick Murphys. Playing with the Boston Pops was also um, an amazing experience. Managing time with marching band is actually a little easier than you would expect because uh, when you come to college, you just have so much more time on your hands than, uh, than you had in high school. So in a sense, that's almost a little dangerous because when you have more time on your hands, you're less productive, you're not as focused, and there's a lot of bad things that can come from that. So it's almost nice to have something that's taking up a portion of your time because it keeps you more focused on things that you need to be focused on. Marching band is in the evenings, Tuesday and Thursdays from 7 to 10. And so it leaves the rest of the day free to go to classes, to do homework, to be involved in other clubs or different groups. So even though the band is definitely, you know, like a family and we all love each other, it's also definitely a serious thing. Um, the drill is hard, it looks good, and the music is stuff that is difficult but rewarding and definitely pays off at the end. As the season continues to go on, you start to realize why you're sticking with it. Um, and one aspect of that is just that you're becoming a much better player throughout the whole process. You're learning how to form music more technically, you're learning how to march, and it's just it's nice to be able to feel those skills developing. Um, but like I said before, beyond that, there's also an incredible social aspect to it. You're getting to know kids before you even start the school year. You're making a, a really good core of friends throughout the whole experience. So yeah, there's a lot of work, but there's also a lot of reward.